Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313, and welcome to another one of my mod installation tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to install ComputerCraft version 1.43, and with it, Minecraft Forge Universal version 4.2.5.312. Now, these versions that I have list that I have just you know said can change. Minecraft Forge updates almost daily, so. Just check the description of the video, and I will try my best to keep the version of Forge updated. I will also try my best to test that version of Forge, that way I can make sure that it still works with the version of ComputerCraft. That way, it'll still work with you guys. So, that just has to be said first. Second, back up your .minecraft before you're going to try anything about this. Um, if world corruption occurs because of, the mod in because of the installation of the mod, that is not my fault. I've had many people yell at the comments saying, you suck, you ruined my Minecraft. No, you ruined your Minecraft. I just showed you, I didn't show you how, but I showed you how not to do it. There we go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to install it three different ways. One using the regular .minecraft shortcut, another using MultiMC, and another using Magic Launcher, uh, version 1.0.0. Now, no matter what version you uh, or what installation method you use, you're still going to need the two th the same two things: ComputerCraft and Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge will be linked in the description as well as ComputerCraft. But when you click on the link in the description to Minecraft Forge, you will get a website that looks like this. You want this file right here: Minecraft Forge Universal 4.2.5.312.zip. Click on that. If you click on that, it's not going to work. Click on that. All right. So once you have that, go ahead and put it wherever you want, and the first way that we're going to learn how to install it is using the .minecraft shortcut. Now before you go any further, let's go ahead and find out how to find your .minecraft first. You click the start button, and you type in percent app data percent. Pretty simple. You do it on every installation, pretty much. This will bring you to your roaming folder where your .minecraft usually is. I just moved mine to my desktop because this is uh, the snapshot. Minecraft that I like to keep a backup of. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to need a vanilla version, a fresh, clean, unmodified, unused version of Minecraft. If you have a slightly modified, like you already have not enough items installed onto it, it may not work. So start with a brand new version. I cannot stress that enough. If you don't start with a brand new version and it doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. So I happen to have a backup right here, vanilla 1.3.2. You could just click and drag that. If you don't have a backup, don't worry. Just delete it and restart Minecraft. It'll download everything that you need to do. That's how you know you started playing Minecraft in the first place. You should know that. But if you don't, now you do. Now you double-click on .minecraft. You go to bin, and you right-click on minecraft.jar. You click open with WinRAR Archiver. See this min inf folder right here? You're going to delete it. If you don't delete it, things will not work. So make sure that that is deleted. Now you're going to find where you put... Minecraft Forge, you're going to open that up, again, use the version that I have listed in the description, and you're going to select everything. You could do this by selecting Control all and I like just deselecting that top folder right there. I don't really think it matters, but again, the shortcut is Control a not Control all that's what I said. Or you could just, you know, highlight everything. Whatever you do, just make sure that you get every single file. If you miss one, it will not work. Copy and paste that over, just click and drag, click OK. It's all done. You can now exit out, and we're going to start up Minecraft real quick. We're going to log in. It's going to get this. If you don't get this, you didn't install it correctly. There you go. You're at the Mojang screen. And there you are. You have two mods loaded. You can tell that you have Minecraft Forge installed. It loaded up quickly, or uh, correctly, so that means that you have not screwed anything up. We're going to quit game, and we're going to go back into our .minecraft shortcut. Uh, let's exit out of that. So now when you're in here, you're going to notice a whole bunch of new folders. The one that we're concerned with is the mods folder. This is where you're going to copy and paste your computer craft. So you're going to copy and paste it into the mods folder. So when you go into the mods folder, you're going to have computer craft 1.4.3 right there. Now you can exit out of your .minecraft. You can go into Minecraft again. We're going to log in. Uh, I'm going to you know allow it to load. I'm going to start a new world. That way you can see that everything is in fact installed correctly. Go to single player, create new world. Go to creative, that way we have all the items and I don't have to play through the game just to show you that we have all the items. 
going to load for a little bit. And there we go, everything loaded correctly. It's awesome. If we go here, I'm sorry the sound is a little bit loud, but if we go here and scroll down, we can see that we have everything. We have all our turtles, we have our wireless stuff, we have our disk drives, we have our computers, we have everything related to computer craft, which is awesome. We also have a whole bunch of floppy disks, those are pretty. So there you go, you can see that everything was installed correctly. That's new. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, quit game, and now I'm going to show you how to install the mod using MultiMC. First things first, let's go ahead and launch MultiMC. The download link to where you can get MultiMC from will be in the description, as well as pretty much everything that I use in this video will be linked in the description. If I do forget something, kindly tell me in the comment section, I will be sure to update it. So we're going to create a new instance and going to call this ComputerCraft. There we go. We're going to right click on that and we're going to click Edit Mods. In the Jar Mods, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have our, dot, our uh, Minecraft Forge. So again, right here, Jar Mods, if it's in any other file, it's not going to work. Click and drag your Minecraft Forge into there. It's all good. Go to your Mods folder and you can then click and drag ComputerCraft in there. It's going to say ComputerCraft, Mod version 1.4.3, and you're all good. So again, Minecraft Forge in the Jar Mods, ComputerCraft in the Mods folder, click Close, and then double click on that. You're going to log in. It's going to download a new Minecraft.jar. It's going to patch it. It's going to install it. It's going to do all that fun stuff, and then it's going to launch it. Again, you're going to get that Forge thing right there. And eventually, you will see that we have Minecraft loaded up. We have four mods active, four mods loaded. We're going to create a new world. Creative. That way, you know, I can show you that everything works. There we go. We are in a world. Go into our inventory, go to all items, and we'll go here. And we can see that we have computers. We have our turtles, we have our computers, we have everything that we can possibly need. Everything works. Well, that was weird. I probably just overloaded it or something. Anyways, it does work. So, quit game. It's going to do that. We can exit out of that. Now I'm going to show you how to install these using the Magic Launcher, but first, since I you know, just kind of installed it onto here, it, would, it originates from your original .minecraft, so I'm going to just delete that, I'm going to get a new one. Alright, so there we go. Now when we go into Magic Launcher, we're going to Load, we're going to go to Setup. Alright, Configuration, we're going to create a new one, and we're going to call this ComputerCraft. All right, it's going to be copied from default, and it's going to just, you know, take the default class and copy it to ComputerCraft. So make sure that under Minecraft.jar you're running 1.3.2. Also make sure that it's unmodified. If it says it's modified or modded, it'll say it right there in yellow letters. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add some mods. You're going to add mod right there, and you're going to... You're going to find where you have everything downloaded to. I have everything on my desktop, which should be somewhere around here. Desktop, uh, Minecraft Universal, add that first. Open, it's going to be right there. It's going to say one error. It shouldn't matter. I hope, I hope not, at least. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ComputerCraft. And that says OK. So now we're going to click OK. We're going to log in. It's going to do that tells us that Forge was installed kind of correctly. It's going to load up. And there we go. Let's go into another single player world. Creative. There. It's going to load. And it's going to continue loading. And then eventually we are into a new world. Oh, there's a the sound. Wow, that scared me and it probably scared you. Uh, so now we're going to go to all items and again we can see everything is here. Awesome, right? So we have everything from ComputerCraft. I don't know how these things work. I haven't really played around with the mod enough to... It's really fun, though. Anyways, <laughs> you can see that everything does work and everything is working just fine. 
That's, yeah, I haven't seen that before. But anyways, that's pretty much how you install it, using these three different methods. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure that you watch the video closely, make sure that you follow everything that I've done in the video before you go posting a question. If you still cannot find it out, go ahead and send me a YouTube private message with the error report. The main place that you find an error report can be in a few places. This one is the main place right here. No, it's not. I lied. I don't know where the error things are anymore. But if something does crash, it'll say, uh, like, crash reports or something like that, and it'll say it right there. Does this one say it? No. But it will say crash reports somewhere in here, and it'll be a folder, and you just copy and paste that. Send it to me in a YouTube private message. Do not post error reports in the comment section. It does not help because you cannot fit the whole error report in the comment section. Um, another thing that you can do uh, with the magic launcher is you could actually tell it to... Hold on. You can actually tell it to view log. So, yeah, there you go. Um, so again, just tell me that in the YouTube private message. If you have any other questions, feel free to kindly ask me in the comments section. I will be sure to respond to them as quickly as I humanly can. So, again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If it helped you in any way, leave a like. If you did not like the video, leave a like. And I will see you in the next tutorial.